To meet our first winner, we journey to Nepal. A spectacular region of Asia. Mountainous. Mysterious. Luxuriant jungles. Rushing streams. For one man, a childhood dream was to travel to such a place to satisfy his fascination about the wealth of unstudied insects to be found there. That man is Pierre Morvan, a Parisian taxi driver. When not at the wheel, he devotes himself entirely to his life's vocation, entomology, the study of insects. Over the past 20 years, Morvan has already led five expeditions to Nepal. Here, as his home movies show, the geographic and climatic conditions are particularly suited for such studies. In his search for new insights into our understanding of evolution, he has collected many carabidi, more commonly known as ground beetles. And such has been the impact of his work, he has gained an international reputation amongst entomologists. An extraordinary achievement for a self-taught man whose school career finished at the age of 14. I am a taxi driver, and I do that job to earn a little money to pay for my trips for entomological research. For the last few years, one has had to work longer to earn about the same as before. I work 60 hours a week, which allows me about every four years to have enough money for a trip to the Himalayas. Pierre is 52 years old, but keeps fit at a pace which would embarrass a man half his age. Originally from Brittany, his Celtic ancestry has endowed him with the tough, independent personality that has enabled him to achieve so much. An accomplished mountaineer, his training program includes long-distance trekking at Fontainebleau, south of Paris, over terrain similar to the Himalayan highlands of Nepal. Wrestling in the local gym is another way of keeping in peak condition. Morvan first began collecting insects when he was 15. Later, his research took him overseas. His early 20s found him in the Caucasian mountains in the Soviet Union and Iran. And in 1971, he made his first trip to Nepal. I come to this district because it recreates the sort of climate you find in the mountains. These pines here you can find near the Tibetan frontier in northern Nepal. Lower down, towards the south, it's different. You find spruce. You don't find them here, those big Himalayan fir trees. Otherwise, it's the same. It's excellent training because you get used to the cold of the mountains. It allows me to stay in good shape and to find some more little insects, which are common in France, of course, but it's always interesting to have them in your collection. To date, he has documented and classified a collection of more than 100,000 beetles and butterflies. Proof, if any were needed, of the immense depth of knowledge and dedication of this modest Breton. I would like sometimes to go out to the theater and so on, but I find entertainment in my insect collection. Nonetheless, I wish I could find time for other interests, but one cannot do everything, so I have devoted myself entirely to my insects. The, 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 the,
The Rolex Award will allow me to take a break from taxi driving and do nothing but entomology. To study the Himalayan fauna, Karabidi. I couldn't afford to do it otherwise. The Himalayan fauna is extremely interesting because there are no books about the Karabidi, nor even on Asian fauna in general. This Rolex award comes at a good time for me so that I can go on with my studies on that fauna. Morvan is certain that the unexplored regions of Nepal hold the promise of important discoveries that in time may cast new light on our understanding of the origin of the species. <laughs>